The first and like most immediate need for a robot is to be able to manipulate these threads and insert them into the brain. So the implant is kind of like this little puck of the secret sauce active electronics. The nature of the device that we're implanting and the way that we're implanting it allows for minimal reaction of the brain tissue to our device to increase the lifetime. Neuralink's brain implant technology is the most astonishing breakthrough in neuroscience. With the FDA's approval, Neuralink is on the verge of a revolution that will reshape our understanding of the human brain. But the road to this moment has been filled with doubts and uncertainties. Will Neuralink succeed in merging humans with artificial intelligence, or will it destroy us all and ultimately prevail? In a groundbreaking announcement, the United States Food and Drug Administration has granted its approval for Neuralink, Elon Musk's brain implant company, to proceed with its first ever clinical human trial. This momentous development not only signifies a major milestone for Neuralink, but also opens up extraordinary opportunities in the field of neuroscience. While brain-computer interface technology has been around since the 1990s, Neuralink's approach with its invasive BCI implant is nothing short of revolutionary. By harnessing cutting-edge technology, Neuralink aims to create an ultra-high bandwidth interface directly into the cerebral cortex, surpassing any previous advancements in the field. On May 25th, Neuralink took to Twitter to announce the momentous news of FDA approval for their inaugural in-human clinical study. However, it's important to note that this clearance does not imply an immediate commencement of surgical procedures. Instead, it represents a crucial first step towards the ultimate objective. The FDA released a statement confirming their authorization for Neuralink to utilize their brain implant and surgical robot for patient trials, but refrained from providing further details. This achievement is the culmination of seven years of dedication and effort since Musk founded Neuralink in 2016. The company's ambitious mission encompasses the cure of brain diseases, the reversal of spinal cord injuries, and the correction of disabilities. While there has been some speculation about Neuralink's aspirations to interface the human brain with artificial superintelligence, that topic will not be explored today. With the FDA's approval, Neuralink stands on the precipice of reshaping the world as we know it. Their pioneering work in brain-computer interfaces could hold the key to unlocking unprecedented advancements in medical science and revolutionizing our understanding of the human brain. The wait for approval from the FDA has been excruciatingly long for Elon Musk and his team at Neuralink. As early as 2019, Elon has been predicting that human trials were imminent. Year after year, he would assure the public that Neuralink trials were just around the corner. But finally, at the Neuralink show and tele event on November 30th, Elon and his team took the stage with a surprising announcement. FDA approval was expected within the next six months. And true to their word, the FDA's approval came as somewhat of a surprise. However, prior to this announcement, doubts had been cast on Neuralink's prospects. A Reuters special report published on March 2nd claimed that the FDA had already rejected Neuralink's application for human trials due to safety concerns. The article, based on information from numerous unnamed sources, painted a bleak picture of the company, describing it as an unsafe and fast-paced environment with a disregard for animal welfare. It was impossible to ascertain the veracity of these claims, but they certainly added to the uncertainty surrounding Neuralink's future. Yet, despite the skepticism and unanswered questions, Neuralink has received the green light to proceed to the next phase of development. The approval meant that the company could now move forward and let the results speak for themselves. The twists and turns of Neuralink's journey had captured the public's attention, and now the world eagerly awaited the outcomes of the groundbreaking technology. What lay ahead for Neuralink and its ambitious plans to merge humans with artificial intelligence, only time would tell. But now comes the most important part of the journey, the phase of development that holds the key to unlocking the potential of Neuralink. How will the technology perform in human trials? What advancements and breakthroughs will it bring to the field of brain-computer interfaces? The future of Neuralink hangs in the balance and the world watches with bated breath to witness the impact of this audacious endeavor. Developed by Elon Musk's company, this brain-computer interface aims to bridge the gap between humans and machines, opening up a realm of possibilities previously only imaginable in science fiction. The specifics of Neuralink's clinical study remain undisclosed, but what we do know is that the study will involve a limited number of patients, perhaps up to 10. These individuals will be carefully selected based on their specific physical disabilities or illnesses. It's crucial to recognize that this device and the accompanying surgical procedure are novel and inherently risky. There's no sugar coating it. The potential for death or further harm is a real concern for any volunteers stepping forward. 
Yet for some, the allure of a chance at a better life outweighs the dangers of the unknown. Neuralink's first practical application, once successfully developed, will focus on empowering those suffering from full body paralysis. Imagine being able to control an electronic device, such as a computer or smartphone, using only your thoughts. This seemingly futuristic concept has already been demonstrated by Neuralink in their animal testing with Makape monkeys. In April 2021, Neuralink introduced Pager, a monkey known as the Mind Pong Monkey. Pager proved that even a seemingly healthy primate could play a simple video game using a wireless connection between its brain and a computer. Then two years later on April 18th, Neuralink released a video on Twitter showcasing Pager's continued progress with a new and upgraded Neuralink implant. The video demonstrated Pager controlling an on-screen cursor and accurately clicking on the blue boxes using only its mind. Neuralink proudly claimed that Pager achieved an impressive 88% accuracy comparable to the average person using a mouse. If a monkey can achieve this level of control, no one can only imagine the potential for human users. Neuralink envisions a future where individuals using their technology may possess even greater control over smartphones than those using their hands. This revolutionary advancement, however, is just the tip of the iceberg. The possibilities that Neuralink offers are vast and far-reaching, promising to redefine the boundaries of human-computer interactions. Your brain is like a command center, sending electrical signals that control every movement and function of your body. But what happens when that connection between the brain and body is severed? That's where Neuralink comes in. They are developing a technology called Brain Computer Interface, BCI, which acts as a bridge for those electrical signals to bypass the broken connection. BCI is not a new concept. It has been around since the 1990s. In fact, there have been successful experiments where patients were able to control computers with their thoughts but what sets Neuralink apart is their unique design and implementation of the technology. Existing BCI technology can be categorized in two types, invasive and non-invasive. Non-invasive BCIs, like the electrode-studded hats you may have seen, can read electrical signals from the brain but are not very effective. To establish a more robust connection, Neuralink takes an invasive approach. The current industry standard for invasive BCI is the Utah Array, a computer chip with electrode spikes that is implemented into the outer layer of the brain. The process involves cutting a portion of the skull, inserting the array, and attaching a computing device on top of the head. This may sound gruesome, but it has been proven to be highly effective. A remarkable example of the potential of BCI is the story of Jertan Oscombe. After a motorcycle accident left him paralyzed from the waist down, Oscombe regained the ability to walk thanks to BCI technology. He has electrode arrays implemented in both halves of his brain, which are connected to devices he wears on a head strap. These brain sensors are then wired to a device on his walker, which is further connected to an electrode array implanted on his spine. Through machine learning algorithms, the signals from his brain are decoded and converted into electrical stimulation delivered to his spinal cord, enabling desired muscle movements. While this technology is a significant breakthrough, there are limitations. The brain to spine interface currently only supports simple actions like walking and cannot restore most complex functions such as arm and hand movements. Neuralink aims to overcome these limitations and maximize the potential of BCI through advanced technology. Instead of the bulky equipment seen in previous cases, they have developed the Neuralink N1 implant. Often thought of as a Fitbit for the brain, this sleek device sits inside the skull and incorporates Bluetooth connectivity and wireless charging, drawing expertise from the wearable tech industry. However, the real innovation lies in the design of their electrode wires, which are thinner than a human hair and as flexible as thread. These advancements by Neuralink hold the promise of expanding the capabilities of BCI and unlocking the full potential of the human brain. With their groundbreaking technology, they are posed to reshape the field of neuroscience and pave the way for a future where the interface between humans and machines reaches new frontiers. The key to this revolutionary advancement lies in the N1 device, an implant that establishes an incredibly high bandwidth direct connection to the brain. Attached to the device are 64 individual wires, each carrying 16 electrodes, creating a remarkable 1,024 channels of communication with the brain. Neuralink recently shared an awe-inspiring image on Twitter, showcasing the tip of these minuscule wires. Thanks to the marvels of electron microscopy, we catch a glimpse of this remarkable feat. At the tip of each wire is a tiny hole through which a surgical needle threads the wire. Remarkably, this tip is as narrow as a few red blood cells lined up together. 
On the right side of the tip, we see the individual electrode contacts designed to detect neuron activity. Astonishingly, each electrode is just about the width of two blood cells. The precision required is mind boggling and that's where the R1 sewing machine robot steps in. To implant the wires, the R1 must navigate the delicate landscape of the brain with precision and speed. It only needs to penetrate about a millimeter, but it must avoid hitting any of the numerous blood cells within the cortex, all while accommodating the brain's rhythmic pulsations in sync with the heartbeat. The R1 accomplishes this formidable task using an advanced targeting system, combining a camera, video feed, and an optical laser to guide the needle's position. Neuralink has even constructed a double operating room at their headquarters in Austin, Texas, where the first human trial featuring the N1 Link and R1 robot will take place. But the ambitions of Neuralink don't end there. Looking forward, the company envisions building its own medical clinic capable of treating multiple patients simultaneously. As the future unfolds, the possibilities of this remarkable technology seem boundless. But what lies ahead for Neuralink? What groundbreaking achievements will they unlock next? Stay tuned for more astounding developments of the frontier of brain-computer interfaces, and don't forget to subscribe because we are looking to achieve 2,000 subscribers by the end of the year. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time.